Gunshots spread throughout the 7th Ward in New Orleans, Louisiana on the night of November 14, 2010. Shortly after, a gruesome picture of Messi Maya, a YouTube phenomenon, appeared on the internet. In the photo was a man laying face down on the ground, and blood poured around his neck. In addition, his eyes were closed, and his torso was curled. A chaotic crowd formed around the victim, as some tried to stop the blood flow by pressing on the back of his head. Even with good Samaritans around, not everyone was able to lend a helping hand. One individual decided to record the horrendous crime scene. Unfortunately, this is how the world became aware of the death of Messi Maya. The well-known entertainer, whose controversial videos made him popular, died on November 14, 2010 at 8 p.m. near the intersection of North Rochablave Street and St. Anthony. The body of Messi Maya was discovered by police and paramedics. He had been shot several times, according to the coroner's office. Messi Maya was only 22 at the time of his demise. Anthony Michael Barr was born on December 15, 1987 in New Orleans, Louisiana. Outside of Messi Maya's online persona, he was a young man with a well-known last name and a somber past. At the age of 13, his mother Crystal Janice Barr, boyfriend fatally shot her, while he and his older sister Angel were in the house. After witnessing the fatal tragedy, the two young children called the police for assistance. Years later, his grandfather, Stanford, Pampy, Barr, was convicted in a city hall corruption scheme. Despite his troubled past, the promising star blossomed as Messi Maya. Prior to his death, the New Orleans entertainer was known for his sassy, yet raspy voice, tattooed physique, and fluorescent hair, that demanded attention from many. Messi Maya posted multiple comedy videos on his popular YouTube channel. Displayed in several clips are of him joking about people who lived in his neighborhood, and the violence that surrounded the area in which he lived in. Besides the laughs are also eerily posts. His outlook on life was dreadful. He hinted that his death was impending, indicating that a young man's life expectancy in New Orleans is short-lived. Just hours before his homicide, Messi Maya paid homage in a Facebook post to a deceased friend, saying, I'll be there soon. As a result of his friend's death, he wanted to escape the violence in his hometown to relocate to Houston, Texas. On November 14, 2010, Messi Maya attended his girlfriends, Dijon, Minicat, Kendrick's, Baby Shower. He had proudly announced the midday event in several online postings. He revealed he would be the father of a baby boy. The couple's son, who was named Juelzo Marion, was due on December 13, 2010, just two days before Messi Maya's 23rd birthday. Sadly, he never got the chance to meet his son. Shortly after, Messi Maya was gunned down while getting into his car. News of Messi Maya's death generated profound reactions from social media users, who demanded justice in the case. However, it was a verbal clash at Delgado Community College that led New Orleans police to the suspect. Three days after Messi Maya's death, Jason Baptiste Hamilton went to Delgado's campus and approached a woman and he allegedly confessed to murdering Messi Maya. Campus police and city homicide detectives were called to investigate the matter. A campus police officer stopped Jason and performed a routine check for outstanding arrest warrants. When the campus officer found none, she escorted him off campus. Concurrently, homicide detective Kevin Burns met the student whose life was threatened. The student told Kevin there was a video of her encounter with Jason. As a result, Kevin viewed the footage and noted that Jason's appearance was similar to a description of the gunman in the slaying of Messi Maya that was provided to investigators by witnesses. The New Orleans Police Department arrested Jason on one count of extortion. They also confiscated a black and white jacket from him. Soon, he was released on a $1,000 bond. 
Before booking Jason with murder, Kevin met with a person who was at the scene of the fatal shooting and claimed to have seen a man holding a handgun threaten Messi Maya. The witness described the potential suspect as having shoulder-length dreadlocks and wearing a black and white jacket. A day later, a third person came forward and told Kevin that Jason admitted to shooting Messi Maya. Detective Kevin obtained an arrest warrant, and the NOPD publicly named Jason as a suspect. Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office deputies arrested Jason while he was visiting West Jefferson Medical Center in Marrero. He was booked with second-degree murder. In a shocking turn of events, the suspect was freed from prison on August 23, 2013 after spending almost three years behind bars. The New Orleans District Attorney's Office dropped the charges against Jason Baptiste Hamilton, after evidence surfaced that proved he wasn't present at the scene when the shooting occurred, and witnesses' statements matched his alibi. Shockingly, investigators revealed that another man, who was interviewed about a different crime, confessed to killing Messi Maya. A gun was recovered during the interview. Ballistics of that specific weapon matched the one used in the slaying of Messi Maya. There was no immediate information regarding the identity of the confessed killer or a possible motive. After the death of Messi Maya, his presence and charismatic personality were undeniable. He was an important figure online and around the world. It's unimaginable where his success would have taken him had he lived. Messi Maya was well known, but over time his legacy faded in the background. That was until, Beyonce made sure he'd be eternally remembered through her New Orleans-inspired video and song formation. The inclusion of the sample doesn't only pay homage to a piece of local culture, but serves as a reminder that Messi Maya's life was impactful. Rest in peace Anthony Michael, Messi Maya, Bar. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Fateful Files.